Lake Lanier looks as serene and as tranquil as can be. It was constructed originally in the northern part of Georgia by the Army Corps of Engineers. The peaceful shores of the reservoir look like the perfect place to sit back and relax on a warm summer's day. But dip beneath the surface and you might be surprised by what you'll find. Since the lake was formed in the 1950s to supply more water and hydroelectric energy to Atlanta, there have been 500 boating or drowning deaths, hundreds of rescues, and 27 bodies that have never been recovered. What could possibly be so dangerous about this lake? Are there hidden hazards or are more sinister forces at play? Welcome to Intrigued Mind, and join us today as we run through the strange and haunted history of Lake Lanier. For a lake with such a terrifying, mysterious reputation, the origins of the place are equally eerie. The reservoir was first constructed in 1956 when the Army Corps of Engineers completed the Buford Dam on the Chattahoochee River. The intention of the lake was to manage navigation and flood control of the river. Furthermore, Lanier would supply hydroelectricity and water to the growing city of Atlanta, located just 60 miles away. But the construction of Lake Lanier was plagued by problems and dark omens from the very beginning. There was a great deal of controversy, debate, and disagreement regarding virtually every aspect of Buford Dam's construction. Its creators could not decide its purpose, its location, nor even its name. In fact, the lake was already in construction when the title Lake Lanier was finally chosen. Before construction even began, the U.S. government purchased more than 50,000 acres of farmland. The very first piece of land to be sold, Shadburn's Ferry, was let go by 81-year-old Henry Shadburn in 1948. The 100-acre farm was sold for $4,100. That is about $45,000 in today's money. During the five years it took for the lake to fill to its intended water level, the U.S. government ultimately displaced more than 250 families and 15 businesses. Not only were the living forced to relocate, but the dead, too. Over 20 cemeteries were shifted during the process, along with every single corpse they contained. Once the residents were cleared, the buildings, roads, businesses, and gardens which they once called home were flooded in their entirety. Many claim that these communities still exist completely, lying in wait on the bottom of the lake. Today, the lake is an essential part of life for the people of North Georgia. It is some 26 miles long and covers almost 47 miles of original riverbed. The lake's proximity to Atlanta, as well as its location bordering five of Georgia's counties, means that Lanier is a popular recreation spot. It is estimated that more than 7 million people visit the lake each year for a variety of activities, including swimming, fishing, boating, and many more. The problem? Lanier was never intended to be a recreational spot. Under the surface of Lanier is one of the most dangerous underwater habitats in the U.S. After years of accidents, wreckages, homes, anchor lines, lawn chairs, and even large parts of a forest spot the floor of the lake. And that's not even considering the entire towns and villages locals claim were sacrificed to build it. In recent years, the water level in Lake Lanier has been consistently dropping. As it does, officials can see more and more of the hazards which lurk just below the surface. The lower water level offers its own problems, though. In some areas, they are so low that travel by boat is no longer possible. Within even 20 feet of shore, the underwater hazards are exceptionally unpredictable. In some places, a step off a ledge in knee-high waters can submerge you 30 feet below the surface. In order to address the dangers posed by these hazards, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and local authorities have mounted media campaigns to warn visitors of the risks and offer advice of how to best avoid them. They've even restricted access to some areas of the lake, designating them off-limits. But despite this, the dangers remain and, sadly, we still see deaths on the lake reported every year. As a result of the hazards, an estimated 675 people have died in the lake since its opening in the 1950s. According to many reports, not all of the bodies lost have been recovered. The stark reality of the lake is terrifying enough, but that hasn't stopped locals suggesting alternative accounts of Lanier's mysterious dangers. According to some, the submerging of some graves and the displacement of others during construction have resulted in the lake's haunting by angry spirits. Divers who have explored the underwater ruins of the lake have made no secret of the fact they are cautious about what they might find. Buck Buchanan, a diver who has experienced exploring the depths of Lake Lanier, 
said this about his experience in October 2017. You reach out into the dark and you feel an arm or a leg, and it doesn't move. That's creepy. If the submerging of cemeteries and gravesites didn't cause the haunting of the lake, there is still a good chance that, somewhere in there, there are bodies floating throughout. Some eyewitnesses have been even more explicit in their claims. One ghost story, involving the Lady of the Lake, tells of a ghost who is reported to walk the Dawsonville Highway Bridge. The woman who came to be known as this ghost, Susie Roberts, lost control of her car and crashed off the right abutment of Lanier Bridge on the highway. The body of another woman, believed to be a passenger, was found a year later. The body of Roberts has never been found, but her car was in November 1990, more than 30 years after her death. Another ghost, reportedly named Agnes, is the subject of a number of contradictory stories. Some reports claim she was a university student who hung herself. Others state that she was hanging out on the lake with friends when she tragically drowned. The Gainesville Times reported that many locals claim an accident in 1903 killed 88 people. When the site of their deaths was disturbed, they say, the ghosts began to haunt the area. Not all the terrors of the lake are supposedly supernatural, though. Speaking to the Gwinnett citizen, one farmer claimed that, you know, there's catfish swimming around the bottom of that lake that are the size of a 10-year-old boy. Whether or not the lake is subject to hauntings, bad omens, supernatural threats, or giant catfish, it's hard to say. But what is clear is that despite its tranquil and idyllic look, Lake Lanier is an exceptionally dangerous place to swim, boat, or explore. These risks aren't just historical. Every year, Lake Lanier adds more names to its infamous list of drowning, swimming, and boating fatalities. On July 27, 2020, Christopher Acosta Farias drowned while swimming on the lake. He was the fourth individual to lose their life on Lake Lanier that month. According to locals, the lake poses a danger no matter what the season. All manner of people are at risk and have fallen victim to the perils of Lanier. This is likely because the lake was not designed and is just not suitable for recreational purposes. And as more accidents occur on its waters, the buildup of debris will only get higher. So whether you believe in hauntings, giant catfish, bad omens, or curses, one thing is clear. You'd best be careful if you visit Lake Lanier. For more videos on the most amazing forgotten parts of our history, be sure to subscribe to the Intrigued Mind channel, like the video, and leave your suggestions in the comments below.